Hey guys, it's Anna. I just wanted to share with you something that I thought was really cool. Someone from my orchid forum group, Kelly W, wanted to send me a couple orchids um, to help me get started uh, exploring the orchid, wor orchid world. He sent me a package and it just came today. He said it was due today. I always think that it's going to come the next day, but it came today. I was super excited. So I just wanted to share with you what he sent me. And it came with a note, so I kind of cheated. I opened it. Um, but it kind of told me what was in here already. Um, it was very generous to him, and it was pretty awesome for him to offer this. So I'm super excited. I haven't looked at the plants yet, so I have no idea what's in here. But let's get started. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. This is a cute little, cute little girl. I'll call it a girl. These are all bare rooted, I think, or need to be transferred, I think, for future but oh my goodness it's so cute it's an encyclia the dime dima dina poly poly i can't pronounce it let's see if i can get it show up no i don't know i'll post something i'm sure but look how cute i love the bulbs the pseudobulbs on stuff it's always my favorite quality because you basically have a plant all year and maybe once a year, twice if you're lucky, if you're in the right conditions, it'll bloom for you. But like I said, we'll try it, right? Let's see. Ooh. This one's pretty. And this one's mounted. So let's take off his protection of newspaper magazine and let's see and oh it comes with a hook <laughs> I've been trying to find wire because I'm about to get a big shipment of orchids in from a online person <laughs> uh, and uh, I just bought a bunch of this coconut what, the tree fern mount or whatever but oh wow this one's basically got two plants and it looks like, I don't know, oh, there's a the tag. And this is a pelropilate? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely see if you can see that. I'm not very good with these names yet. <laughs> but, uh, wow, it looks like it, uh, Cakey's quite well. Hopefully I can keep these alive and maybe share uh, these plants with people since Kelly was generous to share with me. Wow. This is awesome. And they come from like the middle of the leaf. I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know if that's where they flower from. But it's pretty damn cool. And this one looks very new. It's very, uh, you probably can't tell, but next to this one. It's got like the tinge, so it seems like a very, very happy plant. So that is awesome. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, let's dig out in here some more. <clears throat> I love, I feel like a Christmas kid at Christmas right now. I'm so excited. Oh. This is from Flask, ooh, from 8-24-11, so it's a couple years old. It's on Sidium. It's called a Sheriforium. It's the Canary. So this is the most little darling on Sidium. I have a couple on Sidiums that I got on clearance that were like some big bulbs, but I did not know how to care for them properly. But um, this is a cute little pot too, like the little coconut husk pot. Oh my god, that's so adorable. And it's got like all the little pseudobulbs. Like I said, I am the biggest fan of pseudobulbs, like dendrobiums and oncidiums and everything. Oh, I didn't even notice, but it looked like it flowered already. So he probably kept it <laughs> really well cared for to flower. Oh, thank you so much again. Oh, this is so nice. I love... 
I love it. And it's got like a bunch of new growth, so maybe I can get it to flower. And it's like the perfect size. I love little things. Compact for my house, since I don't have a greenhouse as of yet. Um, let's see. So, so far I've gotten three. I don't quite remember how many I said he was going to send me, but looks like there's two more in there. This one looks a little bit sad. Looks like it got a little flat, but that's okay. He'll probably perk right back up. Hopefully. Lepathonis mag Mana, didn't he? I don't know. Let me see if I can. But I think it's a cakey, he said. It's pretty damn cute. And this one's mounted, just with some fishing wire on the back and some sphagnum moss. And hopefully this guy little perks up. Look at how sad he looks. Look at him. It was all flat. I kind of just took his leaves off of the mount. Oh, come on, little buddy. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Okay. Mmm. This is so fun. You know, like when you order stuff, you know what you're getting already, but this was a complete surprise. I told him to surprise me. Whatever he thinks would do well in the house, basically. Ooh. This one's on cork bark. Oh, and it's so pretty. The new growth is like speckled uh, purple at the bases. And it's a restrichaglossa. Let's see if you can read that tag. Oh, no, there we go. Maybe that helps. But. Try to, you can't see it at all, right there. You can kind of tell, maybe. Oh, that's the cutest little thing. I love mounted stuff. It's so easy to do, I've been learning all about it. And this one's cakey, right at the, let me hold this too, I'll probably ruin it. But there's a sheath. And then there's another plant light coming out. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I don't know what the blooms look like. But that to me does not look like a leaf. And that looks like a bloom spike. Oh, I'm so excited. Fun things. Oh my goodness. This is a darling plant too. I have the perfect spot here. And I'm going to actually make a whole... Um, like a towel rack almost. Uh, I'm just gonna put them all like this window is like right over my garage and it gets the best light and it's where my orchids love to be. So put that guy there. Oh no, I'm not gonna stop drawing. Okay. Oh, there's one more after this. Sorry, don't want to bore you guys too much. I know. I always get so jealous of people on the internet opening all of their stuff. And I'm just like, ah, I want to be that best. But, ooh, what does this one get? It's got some uh, of the Leica, the terracotta stuff in there. Oh, it's a uh, from Compote. Ooh, this is a dendrobium, one of my favorites. Um, I love dendrobiums, they're so pretty. It's a dendrobium tanni. I don't know, it's T-A-N-I-I, -I. I don't know how that would be pronounced. But this is the cutest little, cutest little guy ever. So it's just in like a little net pot with a no real medium, it looks like it's just these uh, beads and perlite. Probably likes to be um, dry out really well. Probably like just be watered a lot, but you know. Very cute. 
Can't wait. He did say that that needs to get repotted, probably just around a whole pot. This is the last one, and I won't bore you guys anymore. Ooh. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at all those roots. What a monster. Oh goodness. Okay. It's on black walnut. That's pretty wood. I was wondering. I love I love the wood just as much as well. I like the plant more, but it's not like. But um Wow, what a pretty, pretty, pretty plant. And it looks like it held up pretty well to the shipping. I mean, some of it, you know, obviously has to be laid flat, but look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I will keep this one healthy. I promise, Kelly. Um, it's a division from 2012. It's a peroxa. I don't know what E-P-I means as a orchid thing. Let's see. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, I am so excited. I was going to organize today and clean up my cat room from all our toys and boxes of art stuff that I had from the move. Uh, but now I think I'm going to play with orchids all day. <laughs> I just ordered a bunch of um, stuff online like Spanish moss and uh, some of this cork. I have cork bark, but uh, this is fern. This one's mounted on a, I think a, a tree fern, like that stuff I ordered. I got it for like $9 for like 20 pieces. And it's free shipping, so I, I love it. Oh, goodness. I think this might be, I don't know what my favorite one is yet. Only time will tell. Oh, goodness. And the, I love the, uh, we can see this one. Let's see. When they, uh, when they're about to open their, like, little swan, like the, they have their head down and then they branch out. Oh, it reminds me of, um, like lilies or something. Very pretty. Oh, goodness. I don't know. I don't know. Stuff comes out of the middle of it. I don't know if it's one of the ones that flower, but... This one's got so many kikis on it. I don't know how you would take them off, but I, obviously they're very doing very very well. I'm guessing this is what this one started off as because it looks like it has a branch down. So awesome though. Thank you so much, Kelly, from Orchid Talk, Tap Chat, whatever it is. I can't remember right now. I'm just like overwhelmed with orchids. So. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.